Hi guys, um, I thought I'd uh, record this video because a lot of you asked for this information after looking at the Hitachi repair. Um, this is a bush, I believe it's a 32 inch, uh, no 24 inch LED 2426DB DC CNTD, I think. Um, this is a Vestal board in here, as most of these cheap ones are, and common with uh, a lot of Vestals. So we'll turn it on, we'll get a boot light down here in a second, just down here, there we go. That will go solid, indicating that the TV is re ready, re ready and raring to go. And then when we turn it on, and this is where it proves me wrong, you can never find these, there we go. Um, we get a flashing light, in a second we'll see the uh, LCD initialise, and that's as far as this ever gets. This is a really common issue with these. There are some power supply problems that cause it, um, but normally it's bad caps. That LCD is now powered up, but that's as far as we're going to get. So what we can do, and this is an old TV, so please don't scream about me putting it down like this, is on the Scott socket down here, This thing here, there is a UART port which will allow us to use a standard USB UART to uh, have a look at what the TV is up to and potentially get involved in that boot process. So what I'm going to do is back you out a bit, soldering irons here, I will turn it on, which is going to do nothing because I've not plugged the damn thing in, and uh, we'll make up this cable and uh, we'll get in and I'll show you what you can see on the UART because a lot of you have asked. So as quite frequently is the case with these things, that did not go remotely according to plan. There is some issue with this SCART cable, but we've managed to get a good logic probe off of that. So, gingerly move everything over here. And if we reconnect on here now, we should get Something for our terminal, he hopes. Because everything's now moved. Let's full screen that. And I think we need to reconnect. Uh, we need to change our settings back to where we should be. We're not on 2400 board, so we want 115 200. And there we go. I uh, can't really move much at the moment, but I will uh, come back to this in a second. We're going to have to do this with pins, not the SCART cable, but uh, I'll go set up the laptop, which actually has capture drivers on, and uh, we'll have a look, see what's coming through. So we're wired up. Um, Pin 12 is transmit data to the UART on the laptop. Uh, 11 is, sorry, 10 is receive data from the um, USB UART. So let's power it on, see what we get. Now there is a chunk of rubbish we get um, when we first boot, and that appears to be something to do with the processor boot. And there we go, we're off. So we'll just watch this go through. This gives us some interesting information about the machine and there we go, we've come straight up and gone to sleep. So we're now in standby, our uh, standby LED is on solid. Well, let's boot it. And I think you'll find that garbage down there is the uh, information back from the processor that I mentioned. So we're booting again. There are some errors up there which I didn't quite catch. Well, it looks like we did attempt to mount a USB device. And we're all going through, that all looks good. And then this is as far as we got. So we've got this service mstar.es player died and mstar.secure API died. So there is something wrong with the uh, boot image on this. Um, I don't know, other than firmware flash, how you get around that. Apparently you can put a new firmware on a USB stick and it will look for it. So maybe we'll have a quick go at that. I'm not holding uh, out any uh, hope on that though. So I don't think we can interrupt this or anything. I don't think anything we send will be 
I, mean, I can see that it is receiving the control C's but we're not getting anything there at all and I'm guessing going for a virtual console isn't going to win us anything either no oh hello Intel bye bye Intel so yeah so if we wanted to get in here and poke around we'd need to find a way of getting a console on it um, there may be some way of doing that but it looks like our only option for now is going to be to find a image for it and we'll scroll through have a look through the buffer see what we could possibly get and flash that so we have a quick look here that happened to be just booting so it was looking for something on USB FS uh, PRU UART init failed busy box um, shall we see what happens if we give it a USB key I think there is one on this desk somewhere there is indeed well, I think going for USB 3 might be uh, pushing our luck but I'm just curious to see what happens if we hit a US stick a USB stick in there don't even know what's on here I suspect it's actually a Windows 7 install image Windows 7, Windows 10, let's see what we do have I moved something? No, there we go right let's just stop that quickly and see what we did, so something happened uh, hit any key to stop auto boot so it looks like we found that uh, hello you are, there we go um, and then command Well, that was a very different boot and keep her pressed is zero IR pressed is zero check software update no need to start factory so I don't actually know how we um, well, apparently you press the uh, menu key on the remote and it will do an update um, but that looks like that is trying to do an update of some kind so hmm maybe I should go and see if I can find some uh, update software for this yeah that's um, further than we were getting on it and we can't hit our key to stop auto boot either um, would a keyboard work? should we try a keyboard? I wouldn't have thought so I have a junky old keyboard. One of the things I've often thought of is if it was possible to actually get into the Linux install on these and uh, start changing things around that you could probably make a reasonable little self-contained terminal out of all of this. Let's try all the usual stuff. Doesn't look like we're getting anything here. I don't know if it's even found a keyboard. There we go. I don't think anything we are doing is having any impact at all. No. There you go. Anyway, that's how you get your UART. Uh, that's how you can do absolutely nothing with it at this stage of the game. Although it does look like this has just not gone into a boot loop. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy. Catch you soon. Bye. -bye.